In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make some simple money or just clean up your own spots. So, for starters, this little kit here is available on Amazon. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. There we go. Anyway, it comes with uh, blue pads and then white pads. I believe the blue pads are a little less, a little less aggressive. Or no, they're more aggressive. I would think so. So, yeah, I like the feel of the blue. The white seems a little more aggressive. Maybe countertops. But anyway. The kit comes with, you can see, four blue pads, scrubbing pads, three of the white pads. And then it also comes with a hook and loop Velcro, they call it a five inch pad driver, but that's gotta be maybe a two inch, I don't know. But the good thing is this piece screws off so you can actually unscrew it, but it fits a drill. So what we're gonna do today, or what I'm gonna do today, is I'm gonna, whoops, yeah, I'll get that in a second. Let's use this one. I am going to do some spot cleaning. And this is a commercial account that uh, I'll be working on today, and as far as a side hustler making some money, and when I say side hustle, you know, Grant Cardone, if you know who he is, says never do side hustle because it means you're not committed. But a side hustle can be the same as a part-time job. I mean, you don't have to commit to a full-blown business. If you just want a side hustle, you want to make a little money, you know, this is a lot better than doing some of these tiny part-time jobs that are out there for 13 to 20 bucks an hour. And it's also um, a way that you can put together a few different concepts like the spot cleaning for commercial hallways, commercial buildings. I'll show you that today. And if you look at my previous videos, if you get yourself, I mean, this is, I think this was maybe under $10. Um, but anyway, I'll show you a way that you can make some extra money. It's not a full-time business. Could it be a full-time business? Well, I could grow into it. But anyway, you're going to need the kit. So you have your scrubbing pads and your driver. These are little, I forget what they're called. They're for a cleaning system. I'll look it up and see if I can put a link on there. But it's just a small microfiber pad with a backing that will adhere to that. You can even use, um, you go to Walmart and you get those five, they're called five inch applicator pads. They're blue microfiber pads. I think you get a pack of four or six for $5.99 at Walmart. It's for applying the wax when you're doing detailing. Uh, they'll fit right perfectly on here. You know, you want a five inch pad. So this is going to be for scrubbing. This is going to be for extracting. And the cordless drill is going to be what we use as our tool. And then here is just a little cleaning solution. And it's just a neutral, you can use anything um, in there. I usually use just um, Windex for spot cleaning. You wanna get the original Windex, which is the blue, not a knockoff, great value or, you know, signature or whatever. You want the actual Windex because it carries what's called an ammonia D which is a, uh, what do they call it, ammonium hydra hydrate, I believe. So it's basically ammonia without the smell. And then the um, Windex also has a wetting agent in it that helps to get the solution. It's the solution that drives down into the spot and loosens everything up. The wetting agent just kind of is a a secondary benefit it pushes that ammonium hydrate into the, the carpet so that you can use this scrub it up use this on the bottom of that 
driver and suck it up. So I'm getting ready to leave. When I get to my location, I'll show you a couple of the spots. I don't want this to be too long for you, but again, if you are looking for a side hustle, keep in mind, I do a full-time carpet cleaning, rug cleaning, floor cleaning business. So these are things I'm doing just to help out the layman, someone that's just getting into it, or you're on social security and you want to supplement your income, or you're a young buck and you want a nice brand new car. You, you know, you may have a job doing something else, but you want to have an extra four or five hundred, maybe a thousand dollars a month that you can uh, use as disposable income. Great opportunity. Or if you're someone who has credit card debt and you can't seem to pay because there's just too much debt at the end of the month after you pay all your regular bills, this would be a way that you can get involved, go do some things and make some money. And with this commercial spot cleaning, what you're doing is you you can get some business cards made for 20 bucks on Vistaprint. You could call it spot off or spot clean or amazing spot removal, whatever you want to call it. And just hand out business cards to big uh, condo communities that are, you know, inside that have elevators that go up and down and they have carpeted hallways or your retirement communities. People spill stuff all the time. Like I'm going to show you now I have the contract. So in order to do all of the cleaning of the hallways, you know, this big building, you're looking at close to $5,000. So when I get there, I'll show you. And they're not going to want to pay $5,000 to clean all the hallways when somebody just spills. And believe me, people drag trash bags down the hallway to the trash room. And they got oil and grease and coffee grains that the bag breaks and it just destroys the carpet or people moving in and out or kids you know the particular place i'll be doing has a coffee bar hot chocolate bar it's all free self-serve so the kids that live there will go down and get hot chocolate and inevitably spill so what could you do instead of having someone pay five thousand to clean all the carpets you could go through do an estimate on all the spots you know, maybe take pictures of the spots and then put an estimate together and say, you know, you've got 10 spots. I can do 10 spots at $10 a piece. That's a hundred bucks. I'll get it all cleaned up for you. It'll be looking good again. Or you could say, look, you've got a hundred spots, you know, or whatever. If it's a hundred spots, they may need complete floor cleaning, but you get the idea. You can lower the price if you want. You could say, and you know, you got 20, I'll do, I'll do 20 spots for $8 a piece. I'll do 30 for seven fifty. you know, whatever you want. But I mean, you can see it's not going to cost you. You can get a cordless drill like this one, Tack Life, 20, 20 volume lithium powered, comes with the battery. And these are $39. This again, I think it was $7.99 for the whole kit. A little spray bottle, some Windex. This is not Windex, this is a um, spotter solution called Magic Bullet. It's there's no difference in for the type of spots we're doing with this scrubbing pad. The Windex is going to be perfect, so I just don't have any Windex. And then these pads, they're cheap. I think you can get like a pack of eight for 10 bucks. So we're not talking about 40. 50, 60, $5 for the bottle, maybe $75 and you got yourself a spot cleaning business. You get two, two of everything. You and your wife could go out and handle spots. It's not that difficult. So let me get out the door here. And then when I get there, I'll turn the video back on and we'll see what's going on. Okay. So this is the pad set with the driver drill, not included 1399, very inexpensive. That's what you'll be seeing me use. And then the pads that I'd recommend are these, $5.99 for a four pack or $6.99 for a six pack. I got the blue gray, and these are five inch application microfiber pads, so they'll do exactly the same as the pad I'm using. Here's a picture of the spot. Somebody spilt something coming right off the elevator. 
This is one of my condo accounts. A lot of these condo accounts I do in my area have the same carpet. Here you can see another, you know, another angle. And then I'll, I'll take you down and show you the hallways. There's five levels here, but look at that spot. Somebody spilled probably hot, cho hot chocolate. <clears throat> I'll knock that one out as well. And like I said, what they've got to do, either they have to have their maintenance people clean and they don't know what they're using. They're going to leave a residue. They're probably going to do resolve. Here's everything we're using. You're going to use the blue pad instead of that light green one. Exact same difference. And then you're going to use Windex. You could see we're just off the elevator. I believe this is the first floor. Take a look. It's got long hallways. Goes up here. The stair entry is up a little further. But there you can see the equipment. Ready to rock. So you went out. You walked. You gave your business card spot off or spot clean. On spot. Whatever you want. Johnny on the spot. And then... You went to the business manager there and said, hey, I'd like to walk through and do a little estimate for you and show you what I could do to remove spots and maybe find the worst spots like these maybe and do a demo. Bring them up, show them or take a before and after picture or a video. And, you know, you're not going to tell them exactly what's in the bottle, but I mean, it doesn't matter, but you're going to show them that you can remove these spots rest of the carpet doesn't look bad, just a general vacuuming. This particular location, I do the commercial vacuum. If you go back a few videos, you'll see that great big 30-inch vacuum I got. The Tornado. I can go up one side and down the other. But you could do vacuuming. You could do spot cleaning. Just give a competitive rate. You don't have to have a big professional vacuum. I'm a firm believer in do what's necessary. Look at the job. If it's not necessary, don't worry about it. Why I'm showing you the watch is I'm letting that dwell, and then I'll come back after about five minutes. It's been five minutes, and we're gonna scrub it out. Again, do only what's necessary. You, you could buy spot cleaners, you could buy extractors, you could buy all kinds of fancy equipment so that you look like you're the professional spot remover, but this is the answer. Why complicate your life? Keep it simple, my friends. All right, so we'll get this out of the way. Like I said, you could go in, do your walkthrough, come up with a price you know if you're just starting out and you want to do it cheap you know do it for three dollars a spot i mean i don't know you, you know i wouldn't go i mean ten dollars a spot's pretty fair you want to try to get at least 10 spots so you make a hundred dollars so here you go it's on the drill you're going to be using the other blue pad this is just a microfiber All right, so it picked up the soil. You kind of see the discoloring in there. A lot of the soil got picked up into the scrubbing pad. You would want to get a few extra batteries if you're gonna do a whole bunch of spotting so that you have some backups. This battery probably would do 
I've used it and it runs for a good 40 minutes or longer. So there's the results looking beautiful. I see a little bit down below my feet, which I didn't come all the way out for the demo for you guys. I'll still knock it out at the end of the video. Plus I see a little bit of something. The pad is wet. We'll just go over it, make sure we got it all out. Real simple deal. And you wouldn't be taking this much time because you're not recording a video. You would just zoom, zoom, zoom and get all these spots out. The tenants are going to be so grateful for not having to look at that. And the carpets didn't need a full clean. They just needed a spot cleaning. So let's walk down here and I'll show you the light sensor on this hallway it takes a while to come on. So I'm going to walk past the spot and then come back. All right. You see that spill? That's the one I was showing you on the still picture. Somebody spilt hot chocolate or something right there. That's spot number two, folks. So we're at, we'll be at 20 bucks in what? Three, five minutes. There's spot number three. There's $30 won't take us more than 10 minutes and then if I show you down the long hallway there's spots all along there I'll be recleaning these in October so I'll do all of the areas plus the stairwells but it needs intermittent service or maintenance this is a luxury apartment oh is that number four by golly, we found another $10 bill. <laughs> so don't be afraid to try this. Don't think side hustle means non-commitment. Side hustle just means part-time, picking up some extra dough. I'm going to fix that. People do it all the time. They side hustle by selling a few items that they have on hand in their garage on eBay or whatever they do. So don't take it that way. It could become a full-time business. So there you go. I appreciate you all hanging out with me again today. I'm going to go do probably 50 or 60 spots today. Put some money in the bank. Oh, yeah. There's all you need. And get those blue pads. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Please give it a thumbs up.